Hi Virgo, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love read. Let's see Virgo how you're feeling now, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And of course these are general collective readings Virgo will not resonate with all of you. Please take what works for you and leave the rest. So let's begin. My angel spirit guides, please bless this reading for Virgo and send them the messages they need to hear the most for their love life now. Thank you. All right, Virgo, let's start your reading. Welcome back all my subscribers. Thank you, thank you for being here. And Virgo, if you're new here, we welcome you as well. Do join us, subscribe to the channel, become part of us, we welcome you in. All right, Virgo, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. In the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies, etc. If this is your reading, uh, Virgo, you'll know which side you're on, right? For me, this is going to be person A and this is going to be person B. All right. Action for person A and action for person B. Bottom of my deck, I have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Somebody's going through bad karma here, uh, Virgo. Could be this King of Cups in reverse. Maybe they've lost the love of their life or maybe in the past they've been a bit emotionally manipulative. This person is going through a lot of karma, judgment in reverse and the wheel of fortune in reverse. Uh, the other person is walking away maybe because maybe there's some disruption in this committed partnership or commitment was not given. I'll have to clarify these cards to figure out but I feel one person is deciding to move away. Okay. So, before I begin, let's uh, take an angel blessing card for you, uh, Virgo. Let's see if, uh, what my angels have for you. Blessing, guidance, advice or a message for Virgo. Sweetness. Well, the sweetness card in this deck is all upright, Virgo. And you saw the way the card fell out. It fell in reverse. And the card is sweetness in reverse. So maybe things are not that sweet right now. I do see uh, somebody feeling that their partner is very rude and very narcissistic. I don't know. Let me take one more for you. Uh, give me one more, my angels, for my Virgo gang, please. One more for Virgo. Signs from above. Don't worry, Virgo, you're not alone. The angels are all around you. They will help you. They, they will give you direction. Uh, look out for these signs and symbols and synchronicities which will happen, letting you know which path to follow. Okay. So, let's see now if you and your partner or this person could say something to you, what that would be and then we'll do the clarification. Virgo and their person spirit. Virgo and their person. If they could say something to each other now. What would that be? Virgo and that person. Okay. Let's take a couple more Virgo from another deck. And if any of you are looking for personal readings Virgo, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. Virgo and that person. Okay. Good to go Virgo. Let's start your reading. The first card here says, I'm embarrassed over how desperate I became and what I did. Do you still respect me? I cried all night wondering why you weren't sleeping next to me. Will you marry me? I feel so alone. Why did you abandon me? I let my temptations get the best of me. I got sidetracked. I realized that you, you did not make me feel bad about myself. I did that. I realized that I do want you in my life. Is it too late? And the last one here Virgo says, I have a need to always be right. Sorry, I gave you a hard time. Alright Virgo, these were some of your messages. Let's start your reading with that. 
I'm going to start with the energies of person A. Let's see how person A is feeling. Then we move on to person B's side. And like I said before, you could be on either side. You would know. So person A, why is the judgment card in reverse in your feelings? Somebody lied, cheated, snuck away. Now they feel that the, their partner probably has made a decision not to give them a second chance maybe. One more. Yeah, they're feeling, they're feeling quite low. Yes, the minute I said low, this is like ace of wands in reverse, no enthusiasm, feeling everything is over, over, over and dead. Feeling I'm not going to be given a second chance now after maybe somebody got caught or something, I don't know. King, uh, King of Cups in reverse, why do you feel this way? King of Cups in reverse. Somebody was being very selfish maybe in the past or self-centered. They could have been in third parties. Now they feel uh, that they feel they messed up everything. They they feel like they are the ones who became the loser in whatever game this person was play playing. They feel now the lack of love and feel they lost out. They lost out big time. I think they do want a reunion, but um, right now they are unable to take action for some reason. Either they are pondering over yeah this person has gone into a little bit of reflection mode. Uh, what happened uh, person A that you are feeling this way? Five of pentacles in reverse. What's that? What happened? Yeah, see this person was sitting in a bit of um, greedy energy I would say. They didn't want to feel any lack from any angle. They wanted to keep all their bread buttered from both sides or five sides or whatever. They just were sitting in their very chuffed place where uh, they felt as long as they are happy, that's what really matters. And they, I think karma hit them bad. Karma hit them bad. Wheel of fortune in reverse. Some immature, very immature behavior, maybe some gossip, rumors, or maybe their own immature behavior where they were not ready to commit. Then what happened? Uh, person A, four of swords. Four of swords. Now they are thinking, now they are, they've gone into reflection mode, now they do feel like a fool for not offering that uh, stable brand new beginning. My God, Four of uh, Swords is clarified by the Four of Swords here. This person has retreated or maybe that person has, I don't know. Somebody has retreated here. I think this is person A who's gone into a bit of reflection mode wondering or understanding their own bad behavior and feeling like a damn fool. They want this now. Now they're wondering why they they did what they did. So how do you feel about the connection now, person A? The star in reverse. They're feeling hopeless. They, they feel they've lost their wish come true. They do want to talk. They do want to clear the air. They feel otherwise I'm going to lose my happily ever after. Am I right? Yeah, they want to send a message, Spirit says. They want to send a message, they want to have this conversation, communication about why things went down, where there was such a possibility to have a happily ever after. They're feeling, uh, they're feeling like they went the wrong, they were led in the wrong direction by their own selves. Uh, what's this two of pentacles uh, per se? Why do you feel this way? Two of pentacles. Okay, one more. Person A says, um, I had a choice to make, I had a choice to make but uh, I was too stubborn, I was too stubborn, this connection has ended because of my stubborn behavior, I was full of maybe my own ego and pride, my person stopped loving me, they pulled back their cup of love which I actually I drained, the, drained it out because I was sitting in my greedy energy, I was taking, taking, taking from them and now there's a huge imbalance which has come into our connection. Is that how you feel about this connection now? What do you want? How do you feel about your person? They want to get unstuck now, they want to heal the broken heart, now they want to get out of this confusion. If they were confused between some options, they've made their choice now. But they, I don't think they have too much hope 
as much as they do want to message or communicate now. So what action they will take finally, I'll open later. Let's go on to the other side, Cap uh, Virgo, and let's see how person B is feeling. So person B, <clears throat> ten of pentacles in reverse, what happened here? Why are you feeling this way? Uh, person B says, my person lied to me. They lied to me. Uh, they never offered me commitment. So, well, I caught their lie and I dropped this connection. I've decided to walk away. Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups. Yes, uh, a person B says they had a choice to make, but now there is absolute stagnation. They gave me little to nothing. So, well, I'm walking away now to find my own happiness, to find my healing now uh, and to make my own wishes come true. So, what uh, happened in the recent past, uh, person B, that you've made such a decision now? Three of Pentacles. What's the Three of Pentacles? Some secrets came out. Some secrets came out probably about maybe a third party situation or about things not working out or as much as I think person B was looking forward to things working out, something came out, something was revealed which pushed person B to hold back. Okay, uh, there could have been an argument, there could have been a fight, there could have been competition in this connection, uh, which what did not make person B happy. So they decided to stop putting in work then, right? And the connection halted. So how do you see your partner now, person B? How do you see them now? Person B says they are the king of swords in reverse. Very, very non-emotional. Uh, they never offered me nothing. They never offered me even an apology. They were rude and they were cruel to me. They don't have any softness in them. They, they just didn't open their heart to me. They didn't even apologize for their bad behavior. I was so depressed, Omkara Taro. I really, really was expecting them to offer me something substantial or we could have something substantial between the two of us. So what else, person B? Person B says, I am on the verge of releasing this connection. I, was, I still want my four of wands. I still want my four of wands. If not with them, then probably with some new love then. One more, eight of wands. Yeah, person B is exhausted. Person B is probably talking to other people already, if I'm not mistaken. I think person B is absolutely exhausted. They feel that this connection has become too turbulent, okay, too rocky, the waters here. Uh, they feel my person is, uh, well, a trickster, a magician in reverse. They, as much as I think person B did love person A, I think person B was a bit emotionally closed off or didn't open up or you know, just manipulated them. Um, in the sense, they never offered person B any kind of respect in a connection. So, I think person B is ready to release this argument, fight, competitiveness, whatever was happening, could be moving on to a new path. Eight of Wands, will be one more? Person B is almost like telling me I'm closing this cy cycle out with this soulmate. As much as person B still have, has fond memories, maybe you guys have known each other for a long time, I don't know, but uh, person B Why do I feel Would this be a new beginning? Can this be a new beginning person B with this old soulmate? Are you ready to talk to them now? No. <laughs> that was a hard no. <laughs> eight of Wands, I clarified, came Eight of Wands in reverse. This is a card of communication. Person B is quite pissed off at the moment. Okay, so what actions you guys will take? Let me see. I am going to take another deck for this one, uh, Virgo. Let's see if um, what actions you guys are going to take and while I shuffle, if you could just drop a like on that like button, it really helps the videos to circulate. 
I would be very grateful. It also makes me feel very happy to know how many of you I'm resonating with and uh, person sorry newcomers uh, when you do subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell that way and then youtube can notify you when new videos are released thank you so much all right so person a what action will you take strength okay why why do you need strength now what's this as action why is that an action why is that an action person a oh oh okay same card again they want to talk uh, they want to talk to person b they want to clear the air or have some direct communication they they're ready to offer everything actually now <laughs> they are trying to find their courage they're trying to find their courage virgo this person has also learnt their lesson the very hard way i think uh, they went into a little bit of retreat like i saw earlier maybe they've been in hermit mode they've learnt a very hard lesson they could be coming forward for a for communication telling their person hey I want to have victory with you once again. You make all my wishes come true and I am ready now for commitment. Person B, what about you? Any action from your end towards person A? For person B? Person B is uh, action. Choice. They've already made that choice. What is that choice you've made, person B? What is the action? Uh, Okay, one more. What's the choice? What's the action towards person B? Sorry, why am I saying that? Person B, I'm talking to you. What is your action towards person A? One more. Okay, that's what I suspected. Give me one more. okay so person b is manifesting something new from what i feel virgo person b has already made that choice they've made that decision they are probably looking into their future now maybe trying to see what else is out there this person is looking for their stability they want this four of wands come what may with or without person a this person is uh, telling me that hey i'm going to hold my ground i'm protecting myself against a person who didn't do right by me they cheated they lied they did wrong by me and uh, yes now the stagnation person b is already maybe starting something brand new somewhere else I don't want to confuse person A, so I'm going to take one, one more, Let's just, just to be sure. So person A, action from your end towards person B. Okay, so what's the action? What's the action from your end? Yeah, I know you feel this way about person B. I need to know what you're going to do about it. Person A says, well, I know, I know that person B is my equal match. They are my queen of cups to my king of cups. We are an equal match. I see them as the person of my dreams. They are so attractive, Omkara Taro. And they're not just beautiful, intuitive, kind and loving, but they're sexy as hell as well. Mm, person A says, well, I know right now they could be a bit defensive. And if I go towards them too quickly, they may turn, away, turn me away. So, well, I'm just being a little patient. I'm being a little patient, but I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up. By, by, by the time you are being patient, person A, person B may just find new love. Let's see. Person B, what about you? What's your action? Your action towards person A now. Your action towards person A.
Okay, one more. One more. I don't know, person B, um, if this offer does come, because they are up in their head, okay, they are, they, I mean, if this offer does come, I think I'm a little confused here because there is a new offer coming for person B, that's for sure. If the past person reaches out to them, I have a feeling they're going to be very stressed out. It's going to be like a tower moment, which they didn't expect. It's going to put person B into a bit of a mind bind. They, they'll probably go into a bit of shock from what I feel um, because I think this person is ready for a brand new life, a brand new rebirth of their own life, maybe towards somebody new here. And if this past person does approach, this person A does approach, it may come as a shock to person B. They've kind of given up, right? So this could kind of stress them out a little bit. Well... Let's take one more. I don't know. Person B is, they know their worth. Person B knows their worth. They know that they're a catch. They know they're the queen of pentacles. They can have anyone they want. I mean, they don't need anyone in their life at the moment. This person is doing very well on their own. They're very well put together. They have their money, finances. They know they can have anyone they want. I think if this person A does approach them, they may kind of hold back initially, right? Uh, it may shock them because I have a feeling person B is already ready for a brand new beginning in their own life. So don't take too long person A, that's what I'm trying to tell you. If you're the one listening to this uh, video, don't sit around in this sadness, regret and dark emotions or anything like that. Don't wait around for too long because if you see them as your equal counterpart, you might as well, you know, say it now before it's too late. Yeah, you'll have to make that choice too. That's all I have for you, Virgo. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste.